Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? And I said that after a very, very long time because yes, I was off this space for a long, long time. Uh, but that was because I was waiting for this whole new setup uh, to come together. Uh, my new camera, which is sitting right in front of me, to arrive and come to me. And finally, that it all has come together. I realized and I decided that today I'm gonna sit and film a video and give you some more Vian on makeup. So today in this video what I'm going to do is create this look which is my uh, go to 5 to 10 minutes uh, quick simple easy makeup look which I do every single day before going off to work it's my easy simple work look and uh, this video has been highly requested to me by not only the viewers of my channel but also a uh, few of my very close friends and also my cousins. So today I thought let me sit and tell you how I achieved this look and in under 5 to 10 minutes. So if you want to see how I achieved this look then please keep on watching. So I start with a clean face and the first step that I do is apply a sunscreen lotion. Currently I am using uh, this Neutrogena Dry Touch Sunblock. Uh, ultra sheer dry cut sunblock with an SPF of 50. Now you can basically skip all the other steps that I'm going to show you in this video but you shouldn't never skip this first step because this is basically not for your look or how put together you're looking this is basically for your skin. So you should always apply a sunblock. Now what I do is since I have extremely dry skin I apply some moisturizer with it. Currently I am using this uh, forest essential uh, sunscreen lotion. You can use any cream. Just mix your sunblock with a cream if you have dry skin problem like I do and then apply onto your face. skin is now prepared for all the makeup and not just that all uh, the harmful rays of sun and all of the dust and everything outside so basically if you're not a makeup lover simply do this and walk out of the house and it's completely all right now uh, i'm going to go to my base which is step number two and for that i'm going to use a bb cream currently i'm in love with this bb cream this is from l'oreal and it's their true match uh, BB cream uh, honestly this is almost over so I also had another option which is my Pons BB cream as well you can choose anything that you want and if you're not a big fan of BB cream you can also go and uh, use a foundation I personally feel that foundations are a really little heavy on your skin and I'm not a huge lover of uh, full coverage on a daily basis so I simply stick to BB cream now if you have some uh, one like this coming and saying hi to you on a, a random day like this uh, you can go ahead and apply a concealer and cover this up I will simply skip it because for me it doesn't really matter if someone is looking at my zit and uh, judging me I'm completely okay with that so I'm gonna simply apply the BB cream, cream on my face is uh, something which literally makes me look alive in the morning and which is a blush now if you're uh, fond of normal powder blushes please go ahead and use it I personally love using this Sephora lip and cheek tint it's beautiful it gives me a natural finish and I personally love using it also because it's really really easy to use all you do is take few drops like this on your cheeks and simply blend it with your finger That's it. Now if you do not have a lip and cheek tint and if you like cream based product on your skin then just use a pink lipstick that would also do. The next, uh, the next step which is step number 3 is my eyebrows which is very very important. I have seen a lot of girls who simply 
completely ignore their eyebrows in fact i have been ignoring my eyebrows for a very long long time which was very very long i have realized how important your brows are for your entire look even if you're not doing any heavy makeup if your brows are looking sorted your entire look is sorted trust me on this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my eyebrow pencil this is from maybelline which i have simply lost the cap off and uh, it's almost finishing and uh, but the thing is i do not have uh, an extra backup with me which is wrong i know but i just don't because i did not know that we are going to go on a almost two months lockdown so anyway i'm at home so anyway i don't need it much so what i do is i simply fill in my brows currently my brows are in a mess because i have not seen my parlor didi for i don't know what one and a half months but anyway uh, let's groom it it's extremely important to groom it Now I'm going to use a spoolie brush, something like this, to simply brush off all the excess product from my eyebrows and uh, make it look a little more natural than it's looking right now. Now coming to the next step, which are my eyelashes. I think this step is very important because it literally makes you look woken up. So I always go ahead and put on some a good amount of mascara. I'm using the Maybelline Last Sensational, which you've already heard me talking about previously. This is my favorite mascara in this whole wide universe. So I'm always I always curl my eyelashes because uh, they simply decrease the amount of mascara that I also use on my eyelashes. So I'm going to use this uh, eyelash curler to curl my eyelash as well. So I curl it first and then I apply the mascara. you can do it or you can simply skip it i like doing it so i do it also because i'm very fast at it if you feel that you take a little more time than um, you know the other things then you can simply skip it as well so what i'm talking about is an eyeshadow i'm using this uh, maybelline city mini palette what i'm going to do is i'm going to list all the products down below because uh, clearly they are not in the best condition because i use these every single day so what I do is I take uh, the nice uh, golden shade this or this one either of these two and I'm going to take it in the brush that already comes with the product which is this small little sponge brush and what I do is I just apply this bronzy golden, golden uh, shade on my eyelids in no particular te technique just basically normally applying it like this. That's it. So I do not apply any more because that's more than enough for my office. Now the last step of this makeup look is obviously a lipstick. I do not know why my lips are looking so pink on screen today because it's looking very basic for me if I'm looking at the mirror right now. But it's looking a little too pink for some reason. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this lipstick. It's from the brand uh, Faces and it's there. Um, Ultime Pro H HD Intense Matte Lips Plus Primer Lip Crayon and this is in the shade okay I can't see the shade uh, yeah it's in the shade T Rose and this is my current favorite lipstick uh, because of everything about this lipstick the shade the quality the texture the longevity everything it's just amazing you can try this lipstick and trust me you won't regret it so this particular color is beautiful because it's nude at the same time it gives a good amount of color on your face so i'm simply going to apply this on my lips so that's it guys that's 
all that I do um, in the morning before I leave for office and uh, this actually takes hardly 5 to 10 minutes also because I do this every day so it, I have really uh, become an expert in doing this so it doesn't take me a lot of time uh, yes for eyebrows and uh, your base it takes a little bit of time but it's basically all in 10 minutes trust me on that because um, that's quick so anyway uh, I hope you liked what you saw and if you did then please do not forget to share uh, like and subscribe to my channel I'll come up with more such easy uh, tutorial videos and uh, other things that I love uh, also there are quite a few videos in my channel already so if you want to go check it out uh, I'll see you all in my next video till then take care and have a lovely lovely day goodbye